just too much fun. I cannot resist. I can Do I know how to train for a 100 mile race? Not saying I do, folks. I've never done this. I'm a pupil of the sport at the moment. As did you did you know? Did you know that Wayne Gretzky, when he was eight years old, nine years old, ten years old, he would sit on his living room floor, staring at his TV screen. You know, probably an old black and white one, I'm guessing. And with his parents behind him, sitting on the sofas, they would watch him with his finger on the TV screen. He would move his finger where the puck was going to go. He knew as an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old where the NHL players were going to pass the puck next. And look look what happened. He turned into the greatest NHL hockey player of all time. So I'm kind of using that mentality of entering into the moment, being very present to the pain, that the pain threshold that I'm about to put myself through uh, today and many times in the next month. But I, I do know this much. I need to get stronger and I'm trying new things. I'm a pupil. This is the, this is the testing year of the 100 mile distance and I'm going to do my best. But to get stronger, I got a lift. I lifted yesterday. My legs are tired and I'm running with a weighted vest, 10 pounds with the, uh, as you guys are calling them, the wizard sticks, those, those trekking poles from Lecky. Thank you, Lucky. They're amazing, but I'm trying to get stronger. So we'll see how it goes. I've got two liters of water on my back, a 10 pound vest, and a little bit of grit. Come on, let's go, come on. We'll take that. Two hours, 12 minutes with a 15 pound monkey on my back. Holy guacamole. <laughs> that was kind of hard. Uh, as Russell would say, and since we're on the topic of hockey, the La Sportivas are going in the penalty box. Kevin Collins, he's Man, I got a nasty blister on my right foot. Ooh, it's a doozy. Um, okay, question of the day. How do you train for a 100 mile race? Hmm? And maybe you don't have 100 mile experience, uh, but I'd still be interested in your thoughts. And question two, if you have never trained or run 100 miles, which is basically 99.9% .9 of the world, what is the longest you've ever run or walked in your life? So maybe you've hiked the Appalachian Trail. And anyway, how was that experience? Comment below. But the uh, question of the day about the how to how do you train for a 100 mile race i'll be very curious to hear your thoughts down below and i am going to talk about what i did today and why i did what i did and my thoughts on training here in about 30 minutes back at the shed back at the shed back at the recording studio beginning of the run end of the run beginning of the run end of the run but i will recover right the 100 mile distance uh folks if you do have any insights tips tricks let me know down below i'm new i'm a rookie to the 100 mile uh, i ran a 452 one mile time trial with no speed training two weeks ago and so it's like i i'm not really built for 100 miles but that's okay, and I'm gonna keep fighting. And you gotta dip your toe in the water sometime, right? You can't just sit on the sideline your whole life. You gotta go for it, you gotta go for it, and so I'm going for it, even though I don't exactly know the right recipe for training for 100 miles. In a 100 mile race, I believe there are three factors to really, really hone in on. It's your strength, which I'm working on now. It's your nutrition, and it's your route finding. If you can nail all three of those, you got a good shot. More so even than your aerobic base. Like, yes, you need to have an aerobic base, but it's more in my mind. This is how I'm approaching this race as a pupil of the sport, is that I am going into it that I gotta be strong mentally and physically. Like actually strong so that I can push through the pain as opposed to all like I'm, I'm gonna muscle through it with speed like this is this is not gonna be a speed event so that's why 
That's why I donned the, the 10 pound vest today. And again, this might not be a great idea. I don't know, but I'm trying it. I'm, I'm willing to try new things. And yes, I did not just jump into this. I've been wearing this around my house for the last month. I've been jogging around my house for the last month in this thing. So it's not like I just put it on and went and ran 11 miles. Okay, folks, thank you for your comments. Appreciate it. Any advice you can give, appreciate it down below. All right, two tips for today, and I wish I could find this gentleman's name. I believe he's from Europe, but I could not find his comment in, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but he was asking me, I wish I knew your name. He was asking me about chafing, and this is what I use, sir. It's called RunGuard, RunGuard right there. It's the cheaper option. The other, the other company is called Squirrel Nut Butter, and a lot of ultra runners use that. I prefer this. It's called RunGuard. It's made with aloe, beeswax, and organic carnivore. Carnivore. You just lather up, and you're good to go. I've never had issues if I put this on before a long run. Okay, number two. Spenco, Spenco, S-P-E-N-C-O, it's green. You will be very happy if you stick this in your shoe, whoop, if you stick this in your shoe and it just provides a little more cushion for those long runs to save your bones and save your ligaments and save your muscles just a little tiny bit. It's not an arch support at all, no arch support, it's just cushion. I use these in college, I love them and I'm getting back into them with this longer distance training business. I know I'm missing something, but I'm going to call it, and we love you guys. Thanks for coming by, and thanks for helping me out. Um, if you do give advice down below, I won't be able to use it in the next five weeks. I'll use it maybe next year if we attempt this again someday, uh, a hundred mile distance someday. But I will put it into the archive of information for future running endeavors. Okay, i got to go to bed. Oh, I'm tired. Whew. Seek beauty, work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow.